Today I'm going to show you how to use our advanced court record search. Now the advanced search can come in handy when you are searching on a name that is going to find a big list of results. For example, let's say that you were searching on a common name such as John Smith. To save you some time, you can use our advanced search to help narrow down your search results and find the exact information that you were looking for. So let's go ahead and get started. Once you're logged in, go ahead and click the advanced search link found right here in the search court cases box. And you'll see that this takes you to the advanced court case search page. Here you will find many fields to help you narrow down your search. The name of course is your party name. You will also want to be sure that you are using the suggested format of last name, comma, space, first name. If you want to search by a birth date, make sure you are searching using this date format noted here. To make it even easier, you can use our handy calendar widget found right here. Sometimes you'll see that a case will not have a birth date entered. To find those type of cases, you'll want to make sure that this box is checked that says include parties with no birth date. If you know a driver's license number, enter that here, and you can also check this box if you would like cases with no driver's license number in your search results. By using the party role drop-down menu, you can specify whether you are searching by a defendant, plaintiff, attorney, or other interested parties. Use the cause number search field if you know the cause number of the case you were looking for. More information about cause numbers can be seen right here. Use the case type drop-down menu to select a specific type of case. You can also search for all criminal, all civil, all citation, or all tax cases. If you know if the case is open or closed, you can select that option using the case status drop-down menu here. When searching by a file date, you can either select a specific date range or search for cases filed within the past day, seven days, or month using the drop-down menu here. The calendar widget is also available here to help you enter a date range with more ease. The disposition date is the date in which your case is closed. You can use a date range here as well, or again you can select a search for cases that have been disposed of within the past day, seven days, or month. And finally, you will see the search region drop-down menu here. This is defaultly set to search all DOCSPOT counties, but you can also select a specific county or a search region here. DOCSPOT's powerful advanced search can help narrow down your list of search results, allowing you to locate your case of interest in as little time as possible.